China's free trade zones refer to multifunctional economic special zones with preferential business and trade laws. They offer generous tax exemptions for companies in a market-oriented, legalized, and internationalized first-class business environment. Currently, there are 21 free trade zones in China. The first was established in Shanghai in 2013 as a testing ground for new regulations. In 2015, three coastal provincial-level regions. Tianjin, Guangdong, and Fujian announced they would strengthen regional economic integration. Two years later, China announced plans for seven more free trade zones in coordination with its Belt and Road Initiative. The BRI is designed to revitalize economic and cultural ties among Western China and Central and Southeast Asia. In 2018, all of Hainan Province became a free trade port. In 2019. Six zones were set up with a focus on specific policy areas, or to facilitate cooperation with certain nations or regions. In 2020, three inland free trade zones followed, in line with Beijing's Strategic Emerging Industries Plan. There is a strategic and long-term plan for each zone. Orderly distribution is across the east, south, north, central, northeast, and southwest. Each area's geographical advantages and industrial characteristics improve the connectivity and collaboration with nearby regions. The Shanghai Free Trade Zone focuses on financial liberalization and innovation, creating a new platform for cooperation and development with other countries. Anhui opens new export channels, especially with the EU. Guangdong and Fujian were chosen for cooperation with Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan regions. Guangxi, Yunnan, and Heilongjiang are key for economic and trade cooperation with neighboring countries. Inland Sichuan is at the intersection of the BRI at the Yangtze River Economic Belt. It promotes a strategy of coordinated opening up between inland and coastal areas. The free trade zones help implement a reform of the foreign investment access system. According to data from the Ministry of Commerce. 278 institutional innovation achievements, such as trade facilitation, have been promoted nationwide. In 2021, the foreign capital actually utilized in those regions reached more than 32 billion U.S. dollars. That accounted for more than 18 percent of total foreign capital absorbed by the whole country. As for high-quality development, in 2022. The utilization of foreign investment in the high-tech industries within the free trade zones increased by more than 53 percent year on year, far exceeding the national average level. The free trade zones will continue to play a crucial role in China's long-term and high-quality development as the world's largest developing country. And when it comes to expanding the BRI, they will help the stability of the export environment, promote strategic cooperation, leverage exchanges in trade. And drive mutual benefit with other nations. Lu Wei, CGTN.